The Edulink receiver is a personal FM system that provides an alternative to conventional classroom FM systems. The Edulink receiver comes with the following materials. Edulink receiver, storage case, retention lock, wax guards, 312 batteries, and a battery tester. In order to get started, you'll need to install one of the 312 batteries provided with your Edulink receiver. Open the back panel and carefully remove one of the batteries. The sticker will need to be removed in order to activate the battery. Carefully open the battery door by lifting up towards the front and pulling the door back with your finger. Insert the new battery so that the flat, positive sign is facing up. Next, close the door. Your Edulink receiver is now on. In order to turn off the Edulink receiver, you need to open the battery door. This will prevent excessive drain on the battery when it is not in use or overnight. One of the features of your Edulink receiver is the volume control. The volume control is set by your audiologist and should not be adjusted. However, it may need to be manipulated for troubleshooting purposes. The white dot on the volume control should be set to the one o'clock position. Part of normal care and maintenance is the replacement of the wax guard approximately every two weeks. If replacement is delayed for too long, the wax guard can become blocked causing dramatic reductions in speech transmission levels. To replace the wax guard, start by removing the replacement tool from the dispenser. Push the threaded end of the replacement tool into the wax guard. Twist in the thread to a depth of about one millimeter until resistance is felt. Then carefully withdraw the replacement tool with the wax guard attached. To dispose of the soiled wax guard, Press the replacement tool with the soiled wax guard into the center of the dispenser. Slide the tool to the side and pull the tool away from the dispenser. Next, turn the dispenser wheel to a chamber containing a new wax guard. Place the tapered end of the replacement tool into the fresh wax guard and withdraw it from the dispenser. Carefully insert the replacement tool with the new wax guard into the sleeve and remove the replacement tool. Make sure to put the replacement tool back in the dispenser for safekeeping. After your audiologist has properly shaped and fit the retention lock, your Edulink receiver is ready to be worn. Place the Edulink receiver over the top of your ear like you would the arm of a pair of sunglasses and fit the retention lock snugly inside your ear. Be careful not to poke the retention lock down into the ear canal. At the end of the day, or when your Edulink receiver is not in use, it's important to store it properly in its case. Be sure to leave the battery door open while in storage to preserve the battery.